the Inmere reconnaissance team headed north to the high Arctic of Canada to document evidence of climate change in 2007. Kyle, what's our latitude? Uh, current latitude north, 66 degrees, uh, 30 minutes west, 104 degrees, 7 minutes. So we have crossed the Arctic Circle, yes? Uh, yes, we're crossing it right now. Moving west from Joe Haven to Cambridge Bay, the Inmere team flies over the remnants of a once vast sheet of solid ice. At that same moment, the National Snow and Ice Data Center announced the Arctic sea ice had reached its lowest level in recorded history. At the outer regions of the permanent ice pack, ice melts in the summer and refreezes in the winter. But today, more and more ice is being lost. While ice reflects most of the sun's heat, the open ocean absorbs that same heat, warming the surrounding waters and accelerating the melting process. The ice is melting faster than predicted, and the impact of changes in the atmosphere, ocean temperature, and currents is profoundly changing the Arctic, and indeed, the entire planet. For the Arctic, and for the people of the Arctic, ice is at the core. We are all connected to the Arctic, whether you live in Joe Haven, Kugluktuk, or Los Angeles. The Arctic is important to all of us. Declining summer ice is the Arctic canary, warning us as to the impact that climate change is having on the planet. We must listen to its call and act now.